have not reacted so far to the Oxford Union's debate on the provocative motion that this House will not fight for Queen or country. Perhaps it would have been different if the motion had been carried. When the same motion was carried in 1933, many people took it as representing the majority view of British youth at that time. Not surprisingly, this week's debate took up a lot of space in the papers and a lot of attention too. Some of it of the most unpleasant kind has been centred on the President of the Union who introduced the motion. He is a 21-year-old Pakistani, Tariq Ali. Now, Tariq Ali, it's, it's obvious that the young can be effective in entertainments, highly effective somewhere, sometimes. You've provided a good newspaper story, a talking point, a good television programme, but isn't this just about all that the young can do in politics in this country? I don't think so. I think the young can do much more. For instance, if you look over... Uh, political history in Britain over the last three years. I think it's the younger people who have had more influence in CND, for example, because they are worried. They are worried about the bomb. That's why they go and join CND. That's why they march every Easter. And more and more young people are beginning to join this organization and participate in Easter marches. But do you think, apart from um, minority group organizations like this, mm. that uh, the young can ever have? Uh, influence on government po policy? I think they could if they were well organized, but the very fact that you said it's a minority group shows that of course a minority group can't have influence on any government, but if it was not a minority group and a, it was a majority group com uh, which uh, was composed of the m majority section of the student population in this country, I think it could very well have an effect on almost any government, conservative or labor. Would you be um, would you advocate that student opinion was much more highly mobilized in this country than it is at present, as it is in most foreign countries? Uh, no, I think student opinion in this country is not mobilized at all. The majority of the students are very apathetic, and especially politically apathetic. Do you trust the political judgment of people your own age? I do, I do. I trust their judgment, I think, in many ways, much more than I trust the judgment of senile delinquents. Do you trust their judgment more than you judge the, trust the judgment of professional politicians? On certain occasions, yes, because I think students can be independent, whereas politicians always have an interest. Well, now, you shortly leave Oxford and finish your academic career. You're then no longer in the position of being representative of, a, to some degree, a body of student opinion. No. You're on your <coughs> own. Now, what can a person of your age with your political ambitions do then? Uh, it depends. In this country, I personally couldn't do anything, but uh, for any English student, I think he could, if he joined a political party, ultimately find his way up. But he'd have to be very good and exceptionally brilliant. I don't, really, I don't think he can do uh, anything startling immediately. But you're, in fact, going back to Pakistan. I am, yeah. And would you say it's easier for a, for a young person to get into politics and be effective, quickly effective in politics it in is, Pakistan? It is. It is very much easier in Pakistan, especially for someone who's been to a university in Britain, because there is a real paucity of good politicians in Pakistan at the moment. And how soon from now do you expect to find yourself politically effective? I don't think I'd better say anything about that, as the people who I'm going to fight against might take note of it. And who are the people you're going to fight against? Politically, I'm going to fight against the present government, because I, I disapprove of them very strongly. Tariq Ali, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. At this moment on BBC One, David Jacobs, the teenager's idol, is wrestling with the problem of communication between adults in the second edition of Hot Line. Here to reveal all about David Jacobs is his daughter, Carol. Do you think when he was your age, uh, this is the kind of career he had in mind? No, it wasn't. Well, he was always, he always wanted to be a farmer, actually. Mm -hmm. um, he had his mind set on it. And what happened? Well, in the war, um, he started um, broadcasting mm -hmm. for the... Um, yeah. But now, of course, now he makes an awful lot of television appearances mm. and radio appearances. Does he ever get nervous nowadays? Well, yes, he does beforehand, yes. Um, once, when he, he used to do a vet, an old television programme, and they had a leopard on the programme, and they'd warned all the audience to be terribly quiet because any move, you know, would frighten it and it'd probably attack someone. And um, they were just putting it back into the cage when uh, it was, um, there were some university people there and they were just having rag week. And um, they, 
suddenly yelled at the top of their voices, you know, just to, for a lark to do something to do. And they just got it back in the cage in time. And of he course, he was terri you know, terrified that something would have happened, but he was very lucky. And he's done no programmes with Leopard since then. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He recently was a narrator in a play. Now, I don't think he's done very much drama. Do you think he's going to do more of it? Well, I shouldn't think so. He hasn't um, really done much of it, and I don't think he'll do any more. He's got a very marked reputation for smiling. Is he at home uh, a, a smiling, happy person? <laughs> well, if we're all in good mood, says he. Yeah. It said he's got laugh lines round his eyes. Would you agree? Well, he always thought so, but um, he was doing a programme with Millie, the pop singer, not so long ago, and they were coming back in the plane from Manchester, and she suddenly le leant over and um, touched his laugh lines, and he thought, um, I'm just going to say something very nice. And she said, Oh, you are old. <laughs> Carol, daughter of David Jacobs, with Dennis Tuey. And finally, here to end the program, are two of the regulars from Monday night's Gadzooks, the singer and compere Alan David, and the program's musical director, Peter Cook. Little girl, you look so lonesome. I see you are feeling blue. Ain't no use in staying home. I know what you should do. Hey, girl, we're having a party. We'll be swinging, dancing, and singing. Come on over tonight. Oh, baby, come on over to my place. Hey, girl, we're having a party. We'll be swinging, dancing, and singing. Come on over tonight. Come on over tonight, hey baby, come on over tonight, hey baby, come on over tonight. She can wash out 40 pairs of socks and have them hanging out on the line. She can starch and iron two dozen shirts for you can count from one to nine. She can scoop out a great big dipper full of lard from the dipping can. Throw it in the skillet, go out and do her shopping and be back before it melts in the pan. Cause she's a woman, a W-O-M-A-N. I'll say it again. She can wash out two dozen shirts and make them ring on the vine. You know she'll take it and leave it any time she wants to be mine. I got a $20 gold piece, say there ain't nothing she can't be. She can make a dress out of a fee bag, you know she'll make a man out of me. Cause she's a woman, a W-O-M-A-N. Oh, I'll say it again. If I go to her sleepy mom, hit her, she gonna make me well. If I come home all messed up, she gonna break the spell. If I go to a hungry, I know she'll give me some soul food and grits. If it's love and I'm lacking, she'll kiss me and give me the shiver and fits. Cause she's a, a woman, a W-O-M-E-N. Oh, I'll say it again. She can make a greenback dollar bill stretch from here to kingdom come. Play the bills, play the numbers, and still come up with some. I got a $20 gold piece, says there ain't nothing she can be. If she can make a dress out of a feed bag, you know she'll make a man out of me. Cause she's a, a woman, a W-O-M-A-N. Let me say it again. She's a woman, a W-O-M-A-N. I'll say it again. BBC Two is now closing down.